<laughs> okay, DAG traversal of mutable resources. Rad. Okay, so the DAG traversal algorithm is optimized for immutable data, and we want this predictability. On the other hand, Pantare, everything is flux, everything changes. So when we have a mutable resource that is, that is usually provided by a chain of events, there's a chain of immutable events, there's a computation on those events, maybe it's just we just want the head of the events, that's already a computation, it's IP and S resolving. But maybe we want to apply a process to create a view. So if we apply a process and create a view, we get a view based on a point in time, which is what we want usually. But when, what, if, what if we want an updated calculation? So ideally, what we propose is the calculation should have provenance information and say, okay, here's the process, here's a pointer to the function, the, the, the procedure that was used, here's a pointer to the head of the chain at the time, but also how to get the new head of the chain so we can easily get the new version of the computation of the process. So it's a way to both have the, the deterministic updates we know and love, but there's a way to tweak the traversal syntax to say, oh, actually, here, reuse the provenance information so I can get an updated version of the content. Uh, there's a lot of nitty-gritty details. It's uh, obviously work in progress, but I think it's, uh, A, useful. I mean, we all want updated values and still respects the immutability and deterministic nature of DAG traversal. <laughs>